Last week, Las Vegas hosted the annual Consumer Electronics Show. And if you've ever been there like I have, you know it's a kind of a mecca for all things technology and gadget related. And if you want to get the inside scoop on CES, you need to talk to a company that has its hands in a whole host of different gizmos. That's why tonight we're talking to Flextronics, F-L-E-X, second largest electronics manufacturing services company in the world. And a company I adore because it is a technological leader that also has one gigantic stock buyback. They care about both. Businesses that want to outsource their manufacturing use Flextronics to make everything from medical, automotive, aerospace products, consumer te technology, smartphones, printers, computers, wearable electronics to telco and networking gear. That gives Flextronics a rare perspective on the Consumer Electronics Show. And this year they say there was a flood of exhibits related to the Internet of Things with many historically unconnected industries like autos, hey, maybe like your body, getting on the connectivity theme. We got to check in with Michael McNamara, this is an exciting time for him and for you, CEO of Flextronics International, to hear more about last week's Consumer Electronics Show and the long-term state of his own company. Mr. McNamara, welcome to May of Money. Have a seat, sir. Thank you. Hello, Jim. There are a lot of times I used to go to CES, and it'd be like, oh, okay, interesting. Oh, that's good. Maybe better printer. It looks like we're on the uh, cusp of frontiers both for having information about our body and being able to use that dead time we have in cars. Tell us what really blew you away out there. Well, if I think about, hey, thanks for having me here. Sure. I appreciate it. Um, you know, if I think about the thing that really blew my mind is, is the amount of connectivity and the amount of technology going into cars. And what's interesting about that is not just that the automobile ended up dominating a lot of the CES. Think right. about a consumer electronics show that's usually in Detroit next week. Right. But it turns out they dominated consumer electronics. It's about bringing consumer technologies into the car. So there's, there's a huge trend for convergence of technologies that is really interesting. Well, do I have to have driver, driverless in order to make this work? Or like, can I get distracted if I'm driving? I mean, how do I make sure? Or is this the passenger? Who wins here? I think they're all going to win, and I think you're going to have an evolution of technologies. You know, the embedded computers in cars is like in 25 million cars today, and right. in five years it'll be 130 million cars. And once that happens, you start getting um, the connectivity, you start automobiles talking to each other, you reduce, you reduce accidents. Um, it's estimated that over two, over two hundred million dollars, two hundred billion dollars of annual savings will occur once this connectivity occurs. But then you get to driverless cars, and you get think about the productivity, Jim. When you're driving to work in the morning, which is your most productive right. moment, and you're sitting in a car for an hour, you're looking and at then you're doing the same thing on the way back. So think about the the, the value. Well, you're going to gross... give us a couple hours of our lives back. That's exactly it, and it's going to be safer and, and elimination of the scrap in the automobile system. I mean bumps and right. dents and, and accidents. $1,500 and, ding? And even people that, um, you know, we can make people safer. So I, I actually think there's going to be a huge amount of value associated with that interconnectivity. And it's, uh, it's an interesting trend to see the consumer and the automobile come together because one of the things that we see at Flex is we're in so many different industries right, right. that as this convergence of technology happens, we're kind of at the center point of being able to see consumer technologies and automotive technologies and how they integrate. Well, let me give you a consumer. Yeah, I have my annual physical coming up. So I go to the doc, I get all the blood taken, I get the samples and the samples of this, and I'll go in. The first 20 minutes will be reading stuff last year versus this year. Will I ever be able to just give him a disc of me so we can actually cut to the matter? Oh, it'll even be faster than that. You'll be able to get the data directly off your device of some Maybe sort. Maybe my iWatch or some other like that? On a real-time basis. Um, that'll give you blood pressure, that'll give you heart rate. Guys are working on being able to interface into the tissue right now and be able to sell, send electronic signals into the body to create algorithms to read even things like diabetes. Think about the value of, of so having yeah, a real-time cool. management system for like diabetes. Right. You know, it's, it's one out of every nine healthcare dollars that we have today. It, it's the seventh le leading right. cause of death in the United States. There's 350 million people worldwide oh, yeah. that have it. Just think about having continuous real-time real data of a system, of a, of a disease that needs real-time management. So it won't even be on a disc. It'll just be, be right, right through your right smartphone, there, right up it. to the cloud, right direct to the doctors. And that doctor could be here, it could be in a lot of places. You know, you're good at capital allocation, too. You've got this great long-term view, but you like to give money back to the shareholders. You even petitioned a government to be able to buy more stock, right? <laughs> yeah, we did. We went to, we're incorporated in Singapore. We went to the Singapore government, and they have rules about 10% right. buybacks. We try to get it to 20. So we've been um, issuing, delivering about 75% of our free cash flow for the last four years in stock 
repurchase. Well, you know what? You're a man of great conviction in an industry that's the most exciting industry around. I want to thank you for coming in. This is great. You always got to come visit us after CES, particularly. Well, do. Okay, that's, that's Mike McNamara, Flextronics in, uh, International CEO, symbols FLEX. Very inexpensive stock with a lot of exciting things happening. Stay with me.